Good morning, my lovely students. How are you doing today? Uh, today we are going to hear the story that um, you can find it in your learner's book on page 28. It's called The Seekers. Okay, uh, we are going to hear the, the story from the CD. I just put it in the CD player. So uh, let's hear it and we will discuss it later, okay? Uh, one minute, please. Track eight. The Seekers, based on the story by Valerie Bloom. Long ago, a wicked tribe called the Diagons captured the peaceful kingdom of Raban. Only one thing could save the kingdom and the people of Raban. Three magic stones that were hidden in a secret place. The people of Raban wanted to be free, but first someone had to find the magic stones. So, every year, the guardians of the kingdom chose a special boy or girl to go on a journey to find the stones. Before the guardians chose the special boy or girl, they gave them a test. They wanted a boy or girl who was brave, strong, and intelligent. But the journey was very difficult and dangerous. So far, no one had finished the journey, and no one had found the stones. Then one day, a young boy called Kihan came to do the test. He was a little boy with a big heart. He wanted to discover the secret place, find the stones, and save the kingdom. To his surprise, Kahan passed the test. The guardian said that he could take two friends with him on the journey. He chose his good friend, Bariel, and another boy, Huraf, to go with him. The guardians gave each child a sword. The swords had magic powers to protect the children on their difficult and dangerous journey. Now, our three heroes are at the beginning of their journey in the wild countryside of Raban. In front of them are two paths. On the left, there is a path through thick forest down to the valley. On the right, there is a narrow mountain track. So guys, this was the written part of the story in your book. We are going to uh, listen to the next track that is uh, telling us the, the end of the story, but it's not written. So we have to depend on our ears and imagination so we can um, know what is the end of the story. So let's hear it together. Track nine. Suddenly, the children heard a terrible sound. The sound was like the scream of a human and the howl of a crazy dog. Oh my God. I knew they would find us in the valley, Araf said quietly. Kehan looked around quickly. He was very frightened. There was nowhere to hide. Here they come! Bariel shouted. The three friends crouched down. Three beasts appeared in front of them. They had heads like dogs, tongues like snakes, and bodies like cats. But their bodies were covered in green scales, like fish. They had large feet with huge claws. Their eyes burned like fire. What are they? whispered Bariel. They are called mistrals, Kahan said. The beasts crouched down, ready to attack. The children were terrified. Suddenly, Kihan knew what to do. Put the swords together, he shouted, as the animals leapt. The children fell down hard on the rocky valley path. They were very close to the edge of the ravine. As they fell, Bariel's sword clashed with Kahan's. There was a flash of light, and the mistrals backed away. The three children jumped up. The swords, Kahan shouted, bring them together. 
The swords blazed as they clashed together, snarling the mistrials backed away. We must lead them to the ravine, Kahan said. Walk slowly towards them. Then, when I give the signal, turn and run. Stop at the edge of the ravine and jump. He looked at the faces of his friends. They looked confused and worried. Trust me, Kahan said. The friends moved towards the terrible beasts. They could feel the hot breath of the mistrials on their faces. Kahan shouted, run! They ran quickly towards the ravine. Then, as they came to the edge, Kahan shouted, jump! The swords lifted them high into the air. Burial gasped. We're flying! So, that's it. Okay, guys. So, uh, this was uh, the part that, which is not written in your book. So, um, I want you to write like um, three lines telling me what did you imagine when you heard uh, this, um, the event, the end of the story? Okay, um, this is for the story of Bart. No, again, I have another thing. Uh, probably tomorrow is going to be the story day. You know, the story is that which is not in your books. I'm going to read something uh, for you guys. So. I'm going to give you another homework because tomorrow, if, if, if I am going to read you a story, so tomorrow you will have no homework. So uh, I want you to do me um, page 29, exercise three. And I want you to try to answer these questions, okay? It's ne not necessary to answer all the questions, I, I just want you to try to answer them. Uh, what happened to the kingdom of Raven? Number two, what was special about the stones? Number three, who were the guardians, do you think? Number four, what did the guardians do every year? Number five, who did Kihan choose to help him? I want you to try to answer these five questions. Okay, um, just do your best. Another homework on page 30, exercise six. Listen again and match this, the sentence house. What do you think? So all you have to do is matching. Um, I, I don't want you to draw lines between the halves. I want you to write like uh, number one with, uh, let's say, uh, letter D. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys, for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed the story and I'm waiting to check your homework. Have a good day and we will meet again tomorrow. See you later. Bye bye.